Okay, first of all, I am going to teach you the stress at a point. Stress at a point. Okay, what is stress at a point? No, no, no. Three of us. Now, I am in the area of cucumber. Under this cucumber, I am cutting. I am cutting. Okay, I am going to cut like this. So, this is another point. Under so, I can write. So, or I can draw the left and right part of the cucumber. Okay. Suppose this is x-axis, this is y-axis, and this is z-axis. Okay. So we know that this area is parallel to x-axis. So in order on x-axis, this area is x and it comes. So this is f(x). Now I know the force would come. So force on one side, another force on the f(x) along x-axis. And F Y along Z axis, uh, Y axis, and F Z along Z axis. Again, I am saying intensity of intensity along stress stress due to force F X. What is that? Limit delta A X tends to zero. F X by x variant x x i and sigma x x okay next one intensity of stress due to force f y then limit delta x tends to zero f y by a x f y by a x f y in order to this is parallel to the area a x other one another to x y to x y <coughs> similarly intensity of f x equal to limit delta a x tends to zero f is set by a x is equal to to x is it from the ready sigma x x t to x y t to x is it okay so we will be getting sigma x x to x y to x is it okay hello hello again in either to y x sigma y y sigma is it is it so what are they to y is it are they x y z y y y इधर बढ़ा दो तो z x तो z y and this is known as stress tensor अरे यार for representing a single point that is sorry for representing stress at a point we need at least nine components sigma f x x तो x y तो x z to y x to y sigma y y to y z ini ada empat komponen semua where three komponen sigma x x sigma y y sigma z is are normal components and other two komponen are shear komponen okay 